Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. What's going on? What's up, everybody? Hello. Hey, everybody. Hello, what's up? Have a beautiful Monday, you know? Yeah, beautiful for in tornado season right now. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. How we doing? Good, how you doing? I'm well. Doing well. What's going on, everybody? Hey, Carlos, what's up? Hi. Hey. How we doing? Hey, everyone. Happy Monday, what's happening? I, I, I got too much sauce. That's why it be dripping on. Oh. How do you guys deal with um, suppliers that like they say that they don't have a CSV or Excel or any kind of price list, but uh, they tell you to just shop on our website like as if it was like Walmart or whatever. How do you guys find like profitable products that way? Because I feel like that'd be tedious and like very long. Yeah, what's everybody doing? Go ahead, Carl. I actually need to one of those today. Um, it took me almost like two days just to get through the the uh, freight threshold order, you know, cause I had to order around like 7,500. Yeah. Free freight. And it took me around two two days to come with a profitable order. Yeah. So, and that was all manual through a website? Yes, through the website, all manual. And, and that's the answer for you. So Nick, you just pointed it out perfectly. It's about putting in that manual labor. So even though Nicholas, it just took him two days to put together that $7,500 order, he now has data He's going to have real sales data on those SKUs and a reorder is going to be much easier. So let's say half the order works out great. So instantly he's got a $3,500 reorder, which will take him 30 minutes to put together, if not less. And then he could spend a day putting together another order on the website. So the goal with these website distributors is to place orders and then just start placing reorders because from my experience usually these website distributors they don't change their inventory much or else they'd be updating their website every day yep and then maybe after you place an order like you know like a csv might magically appear yes. right? <laughs> right yeah yeah all of a sudden they got a csv out of nowhere you know because yeah. you spent some money with them yeah, I was. I messaged Eric not too long ago about a <clears throat> a larger distributor who uh, sent me a forty thousand item SKU list with no prices. And I was like, well, how do I know what I want to buy if I don't know how much it costs? Oh, well, just yeah. send me the SKUs you want, and we'll you know we can give you the pricing availability. So it's kind of like it's the same thing with the website. It's one of those you got to play the game and. Uh, you know, just put it in the time, that's all. Yeah. yeah and then um, magically the SKU list will pop up with prices. Yeah. You should send them back the whole, whole Excel sheet. <laughs> send it back, like all of them. All right, I want all these notes products. <laughs> Give me all the prices. Listen, Sebastian can contest to this. I remember it was probably, <laughs> when did I start? I started in September, 2016. Um, when I got back. So it was probably like November, December, 2016. And Sebastian and I, it was a weekend. We were there super late and we were sorting through paper catalogs that would get mailed to us every month with their promotions. And we were literally hand typing UPCs into Amazon from these paper catalogs. So like, I guess really that's kind of what you know, like not being scared to put in the work because like when I hear someone saying they got to spend nine hours, 10 hours on a, on a website, it's like, okay, if that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. Yeah. Carlos, to forward on what you said, uh, I think something that came into mind, if that were to happen to me, is kind of like reverse source a little bit, put it yeah. into scan and limited and then uh, like go through whatever's under like rank 20,000, take all of that and then give it to your supplier be like what are the prices of all this stuff and if you just found profitable products of rank 20k and then you just hit a jackpot you know yeah no that's what so I, I gave that list to my va that i just hired last week and she's gonna do all title searches so she's gonna go by brand just popular brands she's gonna just filter by brand put in a couple items and just find me a handful of things that could possibly be profitable and i'm okay. just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna hand those off to them and then see what prices they give me back. But I mean, essentially, if I was gonna be doing that by myself and I had a lot of time, I would just manual search, you know, just kind of randomly pick throughout that list and just manual search everything. 
and like just like you said find things that have kind of a low sales rank and that are moving well find multi-packs or whatever and and then just put those on a spreadsheet and send it to them but yeah yeah so I ha- so i have three websites that i just sent that va as well who have the same setup um and they're both here local in houston so i can literally just walk in buy what i want and walk out but I want to know what I'm buying before I get there, right? I'm not going to spend an entire day there scanning stuff. So she's going through those websites for me because the websites have UPCs on them and titles. And so she's going to send me a list of everything she finds and I can just walk in there and buy it. The other experience that I had was uh, for some reason on the website, because we have like this uh, uh, distributor website online, but they had a showroom as well. And uh, so I went through page by page, page by page item by item right it so happened that when i got to their showroom their prices were actually cheaper on the showroom than they were on the website so kind of worked out better yeah even better if you can find profitable prices or profitable products at their website price and then go to the showroom and get it cheaper i mean that's even better yeah great great call another great call appreciate all of you yeah absolutely so if you got any questions hit us in the facebook group and uh, we'll see you all next week. Same time, same place. Hey, doll. All right. Bye. Have a good evening. Yeah. Good night. I'll see you at the top. Good night, night. everyone. Hey, lit.